Hi, Filter here. We uh, we all know that they as these authoritarians, SJW types, have been pushing for a black Superman. Okay. The next Black Panther movie, uh, I said we put Chow Yun Fat. No, 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 but yeah, Jet Li as Black Panther. <laughs> Why not? Uh, come on. We can find a very good Hispanic actor to play Cyborg. <laughs> See? Yeah, a, a good Hispanic actor to play Cyborg. Wow. How about that kid who played, uh, who's uh, Sofia Vergara's uh, son? Yeah, that guy. He could play Cyborg. Yeah. I I think I I think it would just I, I think it would just go terrifically. Yeah, you see how silly that sounded. <laughs> and that's the point. When I hear people talk about how Superman it's time to make a black Superman, you have to kind of wonder why are you ignoring some of the older characters that are out there? We have a character, Icon. Icon is perhaps an underrated, underutilized character. Pretty much a black Superman in his own right. He doesn't need to have the S symbol, but he sure as hell can be out there. And I think in one, in the one thing called Worlds Collide, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. Hell, he was even featured in... Uh, Young Justice where Superman is having a conversation and he mentions that he thought because uh, Icon could fly into the super street he thought he was Kryptonian. But like I said um, this, this, is, this is what needs to be done. These people do not have a sense of history. They never have. They never will. They don't have a sense of history. That to them, history begins, I guess, the day after they got graduated college. To them, Superman is a quaint little movie derived from a quaint little children's book. They don't have a sense of history of this iconic character. Hell, even the origin of Icon is very, very intriguing. I remember having the first issue. Unfortunately, I had my comics stolen some years back, but what are you going to do about it? But nonetheless, you've got uh, that character, an iconic character, and, well, like I said, we got an iconic character. And all you have to do is utilize said iconic character. No more, no less. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. Just do it. Create something that people are going to like. Create something that people are going to love. Re write up some stuff. Don't gender swap, race swap, or do anything else. It doesn't need to be done. Take the characters that exist and utilize them. That's all it takes. I mean, the fact that people are going to go out of their way to say, well, it, it, white men, but, you know, shut up. And when I see white dudes do this, I really get annoyed seeing how screwed up white guys hate, have this weird self-hatred. It, it's kind of disgusting. It's disgusting. The bottom line is, you have a character that exists utilize them. Would it be that difficult to introduce Icon to the DC Cinematic Universe? No, it would not. You could have him in Justice League. Actually, they should have put him in that Justice League movie. It would have been a great, huge surprise. It would have been totally awesome. And people, most likely, someone like me, I would have said, give me more. Hell, if you want to, right now, I'm every time I look at that show, uh, Supergirl, I keep thinking, you know what? Introduce Icon to replace John Jones. That's that. That's my thing. Introduce him. That that would just totally be the thing, you know, where he shows up and he's basically the D uh, the D O A. What is that? The 
Department of Alien Affairs, whatever. He shows up as the lawyer. <laughs> that would because in the character is a lawyer. The character is a lawyer. Icon is a lawyer. It would have fit perfectly. Like I said, bring him to bring him to a show like Supergirl. Probably would help a lot of things out and get rid of the SJW writers and just focus on adventure and not uh, marginal marginalized sexuality and all this other stuff, intersex and all that other garbage. It gets on people's nerves. Give us good story and have that other thing be just a sort of backstory. You don't need to have it as the main focus. It's like what they did with the Power Rangers, that movie, where I think Yellow Ranger was supposed to be a lesbian or something like that. And I kept thinking to myself, how does this move the plot along? Does this move the plot along? Is it that important to say that she likes other girls? I don't get it. Why? Well, that's about all. Um, share this video if you like. Um, hit the notification bell. Leave a comment below. Please rate this video and hit nudge nudge. And until then, I'm Filter. Y'all have a good one now.